people, welcome to that reacts. Today is Throwback Thursday, and the poll on the MYFH crew on Facebook was about <coughs> about simple albums. Now, City of Evil is my favorite album, but I think with 20 votes, this album, Waking the Fallen, has won the poll. Now, kind of funny story about this album. First, um, CD. Okay, I think I a lot. What happened was I think I got this at Foy back when it like back when it was like 2013, 2014. And I put it in my computer, put it in the cabinet computer, and never saw it again. I can't find it now for life of me. I have the revised version, but I think that's downstairs with the all the demos and the live version and everything like that. So um yeah, I've had this album for quite a time now. This is actually just a full out, just a full album kind of thing. And this is the album I kind of considering them to, I think, make themselves who they are. This is not like, this is not a typical event simple album. This is like the one that kind of put them on a pedestal they are now and see if people just put them even higher. Uh, I'm going to give you a run by run track downs of the songs and what I think about each one of them. And yeah. So first one is Bring the Fallen, kind of like an intro track, just some ambience kind of thing. Second, on Holy Confession, that's the song that kind of put them on a high ride, and that still is one of their best songs that they've written, written in a while. Next, Chapter 4. Now, this one is kind of feeling like undertoned. This one is actually a very good song, very heavy, aggressive song. That's a good song. Four, Reminiscence. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that's probably one of the songs I probably just skip, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's a good season song, but it's not one that I would kind of play back over and over again. Number five, Des Desiree Through Reverence. Same thing with kind of this one. It's still a good song, but wouldn't one that I would just keep playing over and over again. Uh, Eternal Rest, good song. Seven, kind of the second single that kind of put them on the top. Second Heartbeat. Now, there's two different kind of versions. I like this the clean version they play on live as opposed to the screen version they play in this album. This clean version is a little bit better because it has the cleans. I love cleans, but this one's a bit more streamy. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm more opposed to the second version of it. Um, Rain Eclipse, same thing with, um, Remission is kind of the song. It's a good song, but not like a song I would play over again. Scene Tonight, won't well, part one and part two now. See you tonight, is their first kind of like progressive song where it's like okay seven minutes long it is gonna be the thing about this and i kind of like part two because it has like a bit more of a heartful moment as opposed to part one with heart, heart part one is just punching you in the face repeatedly as a part two has this nice soft kind of tone or it's nice and melodic i kind of like it uh clarion but clarion buoyant disease it's an easy song it has a nice kick to it and all things will end well. All things will end. Good song, decent song. And the overall score of this album is a seven out of ten. Now tomorrow will be Hybrid Theories by Lincoln Park, and I will do like a somewhat track review of the tracks that came out this week so far. So um, yeah, peace.